Blount County Sheriff James Barong sharing more about the two deputies, Greg McCowan and Shelby Eggers. Deputy McCowan, who was shot and killed last night, first started a full-time career at the sheriff's office just in 2020, yeah. and it was right in the middle of COVID. Before he was full-time with the sheriff's office, he was a reserve deputy. He had spent several years working in manufacturing, but he'd always had an interest in law enforcement. This goes back to when he was just a little boy. Uh, McCowan, we're told, excelled in the academy, and months after he graduated, he received a life-saving commendation for his help in pulling a man out of a burning vehicle. He was recently accepted on the sheriff's crisis negotiations team. And Sheriff Barong says Deputy McCowan was one of those guys who was always smiling. Uh, he leaves behind a fiance, two children, a grandchild, and his parents, and also a huge grieving law enforcement community as well. That is for sure. Well, Deputy Shelby Eggers was also shot last night and injured. She is now recovering at home. She is 22, beginning her career in 2019 as a corrections deputy. She graduated from the Sheriff's Office Regional Law Enforcement Training Academy in 2022, currently serving as a patrol deputy. Eggers also excelled in her class as a recruit, and Sheriff Barong says she is known for her upbeat spirit and hard work. The sheriff continues to ask for prayers for families, really for both of these deputies. Only 22. Only 22. That's wow. Right. Uh